Some of the best search and rescue teams across Hampton Roads and, and Virginia are joining together to learn some new skills. The 15th annual Stephen Todd Dooley Search and Rescue Forum is this week. Angela Vargas takes us out to the water, finding out what they are learning to keep us safe on the water. Search and rescue crews from across the region are learning how to improve their communication skills on the water and their response times. All right, command all boats. Yeah, you're setting good, so we'll just hold this position. And then this is our side scan. It's really just building a more capable force. And I would say, coming back to that, none of us can succeed unless we all succeed together. United States Coast Guard Sector Commander Samson Stevens prepped more than 20 search and rescue crews for the 15th annual Stephen Dooley Search and Rescue Week-Long Forum. On Thursday, crews observed a helicopter water rescue in the Elizabeth River. To show exactly how we would rescue a person, whether it's from the deck of the boat or whether it is from the water using our rescue swimmers and our aircraft commanders. Stephen says due to the COVID-19 pandemic, they had to reduce the number of crews this year, but they also see more people on the water making their job and this training even more important. There has been an increase in search and rescue in the past year, and that just doubles down on the Coast Guards and all of the SAR forums messages to the public, which is to ensure that you're boating safely. Stephen says this year crews are learning more about using technology to find people in the water so they can get them to safety. He also wants to make sure everyone is prepared before they go on their boat. Do you have a float plan? Do people know where you're going? Do you have a cell phone that the battery is fully charged? In Hampton, Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now. Search and rescue crews will be out in the water tomorrow training on a crash scenario focusing on a multiple agency response.